So from here on out will basically be 9-11, 9-11 talk along with art museum footage because everything keeps tying back together. No matter who I pay attention to, I can throw in some Kim Jean and he'll talk about these seals that are popping off, which reminds me of the art museum footage. Turn on Jonathan Clegg Hull. Show the bombings on the, the US currency that people that can't see or, or hate Jonathan Clegg or says that he's Satan and uh, you know you don't want to listen to Satan because he may show you what's really going on in the world because he's the one sitting on the throne I mean, who else is sitting on the throne right now is what's what it is is there's I mean you would say well God's sitting on the throne <clears throat> the hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and the wrath of the lamb wouldn't that be something because it's not ever really said and Satan's minions used to make me feel like I couldn't say my interpretation because you don't want to you don't want to give your opinion on something of scripture because it's very serious and you can really lead people astray Robin with your true interpretation because you may lead them astray from us and they may cling to you so you better stop telling your interpretation Robin <clears throat> and get off of YouTube Stop watching YouTube, like Matthew Daly said back on 3 2 2018 when he was crucifying me for three hours between 6 and the ninth hour. On my 11th month and first day, while he had 111 subscribers, after I started my YouTube career, 11 years, 11 months, 11 days after Joel Karim uploaded his very first video at me at the zoo talking about a long, 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 long elephant trunk. Well, I'm glad I didn't listen to him. Now, it's time for you to listen to me, Matthew, and everybody else who hasn't been listening. My interpretation is whatever I'm going through, whatever reminds me of what I'm doing at the moment and lines up with Scripture. So I'll interpret my life that was written about. Just like going in the art museum, how? Well, I mean, obviously, when you look at similarities like Jonathan Cleck's artwork on US currency, presidential portrait, my baby picture, the presidential portrait that he drew about Obama. The artwork on the U.S. currency is that's really no different than the artwork in the Philadelphia Art Museum where I drew a picture of Jonathan Cleck eat, getting eaten by a serpent with a dead sheep behind his ear. <clears throat> When it comes to similarities, people they're not they're not for that because they need exacts. But what I've learned is the Masonic language is all about similarities. That's how you learn the language. They'll they'll even say words. They'll use two sentences and then put a period and then start the next sentence, but yet you're supposed to eliminate the period because it's supposed to flow through and not stop. And then you gotta know when to stop, you gotta know when to flow through. 
So let's just say Jonathan Click is actually uh, the one that's considered to be Satan. It's not like I haven't thought of that plenty of times before. Being Lucifer, the accuser of the brethren, but he's not accusing me of anything. However, if you're the one in charge, you're the one that hires everybody to accuse me. So therefore, if you're the boss, you're given the okay to go ahead and have all these people accuse me. Sure, you're not physically doing it with your own words out of your personal mouth, but if you're the boss of everybody, and that was the that was the original uh, meaning behind it from the beginning, well then you would be the accuser of the brethren because who accused me all the time? Well, it was Stephen James to Sean. So that would make him look like he's Lucifer. And he came down from his island, you know, from his, his land above, just to accuse me day and night and day and night for six years. Although he's calmed down recently, because he's gonna, he's building his house. It's, you know, the from what I've learned about the script is at Robin at Shy, or Shiloh at Robin Lane, it's the scepter shall not depart from Judah till Shiloh come. And Stephen James, he's loading up the lumber. I mean, that's a, it's definitely a lot of money and lumber you're loading up. So you're not saying you got paid, but obviously Stephen James got his money from his father dying. And the way the the system is with people that have money, you leave it to your children when you die. That's just how it should be. And you take care of your children. At some point, you know, my mom and dad will take care of me. Although my earthly father already died and my mom right now is not in, not in great shape whatsoever. And it's just downward spiraling and all the sorrows are coming for me. Just like Stephen James said, ever since the stroke. And it's not like any of us have a pot to piss in. So when you're born into a poor family that's neglectful, you, you tend to learn things just however you're supposed to learn it, the hard way. And then you make bad decisions your entire life. And then you try to catch up on the decisions you made that are bad. And you're, you're always learning how to fix what you messed up with. So that's the life, my life story. Fixing everything that was messed up. So once I fix the things that are messed up about me, then I can help other people. Uh, as soon as I learn how to fix something, I'll, I'll teach it. So from the beginning, it seemed like I had a lot of friends, and then they all turned against me. It's it's reminding me of the 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 house of Israel, like the the Jews, the the ones who even say they are Jews and are not, and they're found to be liars and synagogue of Satan. But what happens is they transform over. It's not like they're actually God's people because they don't follow his ways at all. But they are in the end because it's already been written. Just like I went in the art museum, my footage was already taken 30 years prior before I even recorded it. <clears throat> Jesus, they said, he cast out demons with the prince of demons, Beelzebub. His, his bub. B, B, L, B, L? Zebub? He cast out demons through using the damn prince of the demons himself. Well, it's true. That's exactly what he did. He was using the prince of demons to cast out demons. Because you gotta find Satan. And you gotta use Satan who's the prince of darkness, the prince of the power of the airwaves, principality of the air. You gotta find Lucifer, you gotta use him to set up the stage of the music to worship God in the art museum. You gotta find him 
who is uh, wiser than Daniel that knows the Bible like no other and uh, you got to use him to cast demons out of people you got to take Satan and have him divide himself against Satan that way his house cannot stand so by using Satan you take Satan and you transform the one in charge of this planet named Satan uh, Lucifer and you turn him into a, a sheep in wolf's clothing you let him loose from the pit once that sick seal is once that heavens rolled up like a scroll and you you let Bono rise up from the bottomless pit to deceive all nations because you're using him to cast out demons. And that's all that makes sense to me. Our bullet point perfection scripture uh, uh, fulfillments. Because how else are you going to how else are you going to do it? How else is this world going to get flipped upside down if you can't find the serial killer right there in the art museum himself, Ashtaroth, the game, the, uh, or what's that game with David and Bowie? Coming in with a bow. I came in with Bowie from the very beginning, my very first video after 11 years, 11 months, 11 days. From the very first creation of the YouTube video itself. I come in with a Bowie, a bow. I'm tying things together using Jonathan Cleck. It's like riding in on a white horse after six years going to this high mountain in uh, Mount Car Carmel, slaying the 450 Falls Prophets, coming in with the very first video, song, seal. And what do you see on the wall after going, after uh, climbing these city walls only to be with you? You see Isaac, Julian, and Bo Barty. So even the first video that I used as one of the cracking the seals in the Philadelphia Art Museum that I went in because of Jonathan Click's influence to go there into the house of Satan, the Vatican, in Phil in Philadelphia, the serpent wearing the crown, he's rising out of the sea. It's a beast rising out of the sea. Whose head do you think has been wounded and healed? And then you're gonna have that same flip side, Christ being a wounded head and being healed and having the having the beast with two horns like a lamb, speaks like a dragon causing all those to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Did they not try to put a crown of thorns around Christ's head? Wouldn't that cause... Didn't that cause... Uh, how come it... How come the... Uh, the story is when Christ is crucified, he still has the holes in his hands. But what about the crown... What about the thorn marks around his forehead? Does that stay there too? Or is it just a portion of it? But nevertheless, when you flip the scripture and see it both ways, because it, it, it can be interpreted both ways, both sides of the story can be true and being played out in its exact opposite. Because the first, but it's like, well, no, the first beast is speaking great blasphemous words against God. Well, sure. When Christ is considered the Antichrist, well then, the way that the scripture is written, the author is telling you that that's what they called him. That's what they said he was doing. They, they said he was speaking great blasphemous words against, against Stephen, James, Deshaun. And, but, the reality is also the beast rising up out of the sea of humanity. Christ also rose up from the, out of the sea of humanity. But he's also a beast that rises up from the earth too because he's in, in the earth. 
but so is the angel of bottomless pit who rises up out of the earth like Bono in Seal Song 6. When you look at Jonathan Clegg's head wounded, a wounded head and then healed, and then the second beast who rises up out of the out of the earth itself, someone that lives on earth, just rising himself up from the earth, causing everybody to worship the first beast, Satan, whose deadly wound was healed, Lucifer. At some point, you know, Scripture does say that the 99 were left behind just to get the one. The one that was lost. Well, I'll be the first one to admit that I was lost for 40 years. Sort of like going through the wilderness. Who is it? Caleb and, and Joshua? Caleb? scrolling through for 40 years doing the same thing that children of Israel are doing but yet they're all complaining about everything 40 years and then hopping into the YouTube platform so now I'm 47 hopping in at 40 years old April 2nd 2017 June 28th 2017 I turned 41 and this world is a wilderness because I'm completely lost. I'm completely doing things the wrong way, going to jail plenty of times until I finally learn. And just after October 30, uh, 28th, three days before Halloween, two thousand four was the last time that. I got in trouble with anything that I did wrong. May 19, 2006, I got out of jail after doing a year and a half. And that was it. That's what I needed. Then it was time to start figuring out what in the hell am I doing? How am I going to change things that I don't like that are happening right now? And that's what the YouTube platform is for. So after 40 full years, just about, I hopped into the temple and I started preaching in the synagogues. You know, going to different people's channels is like a synagogue to church. Being brought up, I wasn't raised in Florida I was brought up in Philly I was only in Florida for a total of six years my first five years from what I'm told and then when I was 10 to 11 and that was it the rest of my 41 years 40 41 years I was brought up in Philly Philadelphia's gonna have a little bit of strength it's like Nazareth Twin Towers are in Philly, Liberty 1, Liberty 2, Jonathan Clegg just making another video today with the same title basically as mine that I made a few hours prior to his video yesterday about the Twin Towers, Liberty 1, Liberty 2. And he's saying, oh, are the Twin Towers printed on the U.S. currency? Well, you damn skippy they are. All you got to do is... When Click shows you the the bombings and the folding the, the money, like the $20 bill, and he has them side by side, and he has the comparison of the Twin Towers see, being seen under the arch, the arch of Washington once Titus destroys the, uh, the temple itself. Whether it's on October 21st, 2023, or 11-9, which is the 9th of Av, 2023, is up for debate still because it still hasn't happened. But I've made those date predictions as well. I just, it's, you know, when is the year? It sure seems like this is the year now. You know why? Because now Israel's being under attack. Just like Jonathan Cleck is being under attack. 
So Jacob, who wrestles with the angel for so long, and then finally, because he's being under attack, uh, like Israel is being under attack, then a physical person is going to be Israel, just like the, the literal land is Israel, and then the spiritual, true land of Israel is going to be in Philadelphia, and that, what's going to happen over in the the mainstream Israel is going to happen in the secret mystery Israel. Stephen James is trying to say Michigan is mystery Israel, but ain't, there's nothing. Ha what's happening over there besides the script of what he's doing with rebuilding his house towards the very end of troublous times? All that has been planned out. Nothing that I do for the past six years was planned out through a script with a purse. Nothing. Am I planning stuff now? Sure. I, I went to the art museum. I planned on making YouTube videos and just directing it with my own imagery. Come to find out, I literally already did that in my sleep 39 years ago. 40 years just about. With eight songs of surrender that are just as identical as the bombings printed on U.S. currency that Jonathan Kleck is showing you. And considering Jonathan Kleck is the art museum in Philly, as far as I'm concerned, it's his building, and Lucifer was there to meet me. Well, it's going to be the same thing. It's just about similarities. It's not dead-on matches, even though that's what they're using, is your footage. So when you take his similarity and uh, when he shows the Twin Towers next underneath the Arch of Titus, or Arch of Washington, and he shows you the $20 bill and the folded up with the, it's, uh, it shows like the upside down pyramid. <clears throat> and then the federal building bombing, which is long rectangular windows with a round edge, round edges. That's 17th JFK, Chase Bank. And then right next to it, when it shows you that, the 20-hour bill with the pyramid upside down, all you got to do is turn that picture right side up. That way the pyramids are right side up now. And then side to side, there's two of them. They're the Twin Towers, Liberty One and Liberty Two, because they're pyramids. And Jonathan Clegg, guess what? The pyramids are your enemy. Considering they obliterated, obliv uh, destroyed Maui with fire, and considering that Israel is getting bombed right now, I mean, who knows? That Israel could not even be a real place because they know I'll never go over there. They'll, they'll know, they know I'll never go to other countries unless I will. And they can just do this news. And everybody else knows that they're to act like they went there and talk about it. And it doesn't even exist and if I ever come across anybody. You know, that's if I never went there my entire life. But I have a feeling I will go everywhere to get out of this Truman Show hellhole. So now that Israel has officially declared World War III, not officially World War III, but officially declared war, and it's just like Jonathan Kleck declaring war. So if you want things to line up, look at Benjamin Netanyahu at, at Big Ben, Benjamin Franklin Parkway, which is like the, the Gaza Strip. All nations are there. It's so all the fighting that's going to happen throughout the entire world. The Philadelphia landscape is, a, is a, a small model of what's to come. You got the headquarters at, at Crimea, the cesspool, when I was there with Jacob, uh, no, not um, Steve Manoon showing me, doing a little exact moment, the headquarters. But you also have uh, Israel is down at the other end.
because it could be Jacob Israel versus Jonathan Click, and Jacob Israel is down by the Philadelphia Art Museum side. Because I was talking to him the day before I went in there, and all those miracles happened. But the thing is, it's Jonathan Clegg's head, and that's why I drew him. You know, he could be getting eaten by the serpent that's down there. Being down at this side of Israel, where the first flag at the big Benjamin Netanyahu Parkway uh, landscape, there's one flag, the first one, it's Israel. And that's that's representing the William Penn building, Jerusalem, a seven-story building, a tidal wave coming over. The Pentagon, Pentagon, the William Penn building being gone would symbolize the Pen Pentagon bombing, the Twin Towers symbolized Liberty One, Liberty Two, and the Federal Building bombing, which is the, again, similarities Federal Building bombing, which is 17 JFK, it's long rectangular green windows, and and it's the rounded edges. And there's the twin towers right there. Liberty one, Liberty two, and the two become one because it's that male female system. William Penn is right over there to the left. There's a cigarette at the top right hand side. The windows of heaven are open. So there's three pyramids. Liberty two is to the left. Liberty one is with the the tall, you know, pointy thing. I'm not sure what the other pyramid building is. And then the Comcast building. And then two miles from to the west is the Philadelphia Art Museum. And that's where I went in after, after five years, just about six years. I think it was about eight days before my sixth year. Went in there. And all the similarities took place One three twenty three twenty twenty three. My wife's birthday. The one thing I like, and I've learned, makes so much sense with Robert Breaker, is that <clears throat> the things that you've done, like let's say you got married, you got divorced, let's say you did this and you did that. When you know who Jesus is and the Holy Spirit and the Father then you're going to understand that whatever you did in the past is already paid for under the blood of Jesus, which means it was already done. The work is already finished. You just have to believe in him because the work's already done. He already died. We're not waiting for him to die again. It already happened. So now... When, when you do those things, understand your sins have already been paid for. Wherever you're living, whoever you're living with, whoever you're married to, marriage is meant to stay committed. Unless your wife is committing adultery, or husband. Unless they are never going to get be saved. And it's, it's known that they're they're committing adultery. They're still married to you, but they're, yet they're being with other people. But then you have that right to separate, divorce. If she's the one doing it, well then let her file for the divorce because she's the one that wants to go elsewhere, which means she was never uh, meant to be or he was never meant to be. <clears throat> I want my marriage to, to work and last, but the way it is right now, 
nothing will ever truly change because until what happens in Philadelphia happens in Philadelphia. You know, I can only do so much with the Philadelphia Art Museum footage, and that's, it's mainly, it's for Lucifer so I can present it to him. And then he already knows that I had already done it. So then once I finally get it, once I finally confirm it in my life, but then he can spread it through the other people that need to know. And uh, and that's just seeing it happening before it gets here. And then the way I can wake up all every last sheep on this earth is when all the bombings, <clears throat> all the explosions, everything that happens in Philly that I predicted that will happen at a certain point dead on to the exact time, date, month, and year. Well, then, that's when I finally get to wake everybody else up. Because there's no, you can't deny anything after that. You can deny that the Philadelphia Art Museum footage is... You know, it's, it's coincidental after coincidence after coincidence. One after another after another. You can try to just deny it that way. And <clears throat> but... When I show you a dead match, a, de a perfect timing, an absolute date, month, year, Liberty <clears throat> Liberty 1, Liberty 2, Federal building, building bombing, 17th and JFK Chase Bank, and then whether or not the William Penn building is going to be gone, the Pent Pentagon, either way, the Twin Towers themselves being bombed or being destroyed or being whatever you whatever happens to them it could be an asteroid falling from the heavens a star or something but happening on the 9th of av november 9th 2023 or even harold camping's world october 21st 2023 because it's a pretty important date because that's when john the clerk was just getting started uh giving everybody a teaser it just exploded from that point on and it hasn't stopped. It's only gotten more frightening for Satan's minions. Because even the devils tremble. My prayer is that heaven comes down to earth. But you have to find the serial killer. Remember Stephen James and Sean's printout? of the top Luciferian head United States gang stalker in the world the serial killer remember that website there's always going to be someone that's deterring like taking the acting as if they're the, the top guy when they're just the, the second guy and vice versa between Jonathan Cleck and Stephen James and if not it could be the same person just from different timelines different uh, body suit mask voiceovers or it could be separate you know like a Jacob and Esau but it could also be like a Jacob Israel and Jonathan Clegg because one of them I loved and one of them I've hated because I hate when people are just not and then I love when people just are so it's coming soon to a theater near you